Hello guys, welcome to this video series on cyber law and ethics. So we will discuss the first chapter. In today's digital world, cyber crime has become a major concern affecting the individuals, businesses and government alike. But what exactly is cyber crime and how do cyber criminals carry out the cyber attacks? What are the common threats we face online? So in this episode, we will explore the basics of the cyber crime, its different types and how these illegal activities impact the society. By understanding these threats, we can take steps to protect ourselves. So let's dive into the world of cyber crime and uncover its hidden dangers. So at first, uh, you can say what is cyber crime? Cyber crime refers to the illegal activities that involve computers, networks or uh, digital devices. Unlike traditional crimes, cyber crime is often committed anonymously, making it harder to trace. These crimes can range from financial fraud and identity theft to hacking and cyber terrorism. Cyber criminals use various techniques to exploit the vulnerabilities in the computer system, stealing the sensitive data or causing the disruption. The rise of the internet has made the cyber crime a global issue with criminals targeting individuals, businesses, and even government institutions. Cyber crime are committed for different motives, including the financial gain, personal revenge, political agendas, or simplify for fun. As technology advances, cyber criminals have continued to develop new methods to breach the security system. Law enforcement agencies worldwide are constantly working to track and prevent the cyber threats. However, individuals also need uh, to take precautions such as using strong password and being cautious while sharing personal information online. Understanding cybercrime is the first step in defending against digital threats. So now, forgery in the cybercrime. Forgery is one of the most common cybercrimes where criminals create the fake documents, signatures, or you can say digital identities. In the online world, forgery can take many forms such as email spoofing, fake certificates, counterfeit digital signatures. So cyber criminals use advanced software to manipulate the documents, making it difficult to distinguish between the real and the fake. Financial fraud is a major area where forgery is widely used, allowing the criminals to create the fake bank transaction or credit card details. Many online scams involve forked emails or website that trick the users into providing their personal or financial information. Even in the social media, criminals create fake profiles or impersonate someone else for fraudulent purposes. So with the rise of digital transactions, ensuring the authority, authenticity of online documents has become a challenge. Governments and organizations use technologies like the blockchain and digital signatures to prevent the forgery. Users must be careful while sharing the sensitive documents online and verify the sources before making it transactions. Being aware of cyber forgery techniques helps in avoiding online scams and financial losses. So now, hacking, the unauthorized access to the system. Hacking is the, you can say, the art of gaining the unauthorized access to the computer system, network or device. Hackers exploit the vulnerabilities in the software using the techniques like the password cracking, phishing or malware attacks. Some hackers target the organization to steal the sensitive data, while others aim to disrupt the services by launching cyber attacks. So there are different types of hackers, including the ethical hacker who help to strengthen the security also the black attackers who engage in the criminal activities one common method used by hackers is phishing where they send the fake emails pretending to be f from to to be from legitimate sources to steal the login credential another technique is malware attack where you can say harmful software is installed on victims device to gain the control of the whole system the large scale hacking incidents have led to data breaches, financial losses and identity theft.
Government and companies invest heavily in the cyber security to protect their systems from hackers and regularly updating the software and using strong unique passwords are essential to step to prevent hacking attempts. Individuals must also be cautious, be cautious while clicking on suspicious links or downloading the unknown files. Hacking remains one of the biggest threats in the digital age, making the cyber security awareness is crucial. So now, the software piracy, the illegal distribution of the software. Software piracy refers to the illegal copying, distribution or use of copyrighted software without permission. This practice causes the significant financial losses to software developers and companies. Many people unknowingly download pirated software from the internet, exposing themselves to security risk like the malware or and viruses. There are different types of software piracy, including counterfeiting, where the criminals sell the fake copies of the software, and cracking, where hackers remove the software protection mechanism. Some users engage in soft lifting, where they use a single licensed copy of the software on multiple devices, violating its term of use. The pirated software often lacks security updates, making it vulnerable to cyber attacks. M many government have strict laws against software piracy and companies use licensing systems to prevent the unauthorized use. Cloud-based software solutions have also helped in reducing the piracy by requiring the online authentication. So using the legal software in ensures the security better performance and compliance with cyber laws. Awareness is about software piracy and its consequences is important for both individuals and businesses. So, computer network intrusion, breaking into the secure system. Computer network intrusion referred to the unauthorized access to private or corporate network to steal, modify or you can say damage the data. Cyber criminals use various techniques such as brute force attack where they repeat, repeatedly guess the password or SQL injection where they exploit the database vulnerabilities. Network intrusion often lead to serious consequences including the data breaches, financial losses and exposure of confidential information. Some hackers infiltrate the networks to plant the ransomware locking the files and uh, demanding the payment to restore the access. Other intrusions involve man in the middle attack where the attackers secretly intercept the communication between the two parties. Organization use the firewalls, encryption and intrusion detection system to protect their network from cyber threat. Governments and private companies employ cyber security experts to monitor and prevent the unauthorized access. Users can also enhance the security by using virtual private network VPN and enabling the two-factor authentication. As cyber criminals develop more advanced methods, network security remains a top priority for business worldwide. Understanding how network intrusion ha happens helps in implementing the better protective measures. So, that's all for today's session in the introduction to cyber crimes. You can see in the screen the in the last part some notes we will share, okay? And some parts like some key terminologies terms for this chapter we will share and these books in the first slide we already shared. So these books is the syllabus is oriented with Macout syllabus, okay? So we explored what cyber crime is including the hacking, forgery, software piracy and network intrusion. As technology advances, the cyber threats are becoming more sophisticated, making cyber security awareness essential. So in our next episode, we will dive into categories of cyber crime and examine how criminals plan their attacks. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to for more informative content. Stay safe online, be aware of cyber threats and see you in the next episode.